Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode, um, we went on a little adventure with Bazaar Kakun. <laughs> and um, Bazaar Kakun uh, tried to find some batteries for Ilya uh, and a loop once. Uh, unfortunately, uh, on the way, he basically wiped out each and every servant, automatically winning the Holy Grail War. And Ilya, by the end of it, wished upon the Holy Grail for some batteries. And unfortunately, she forgot to mention which type it was, so she didn't get the loop one. Um, sad story. So, <laughs> that was the previous episode. Uh, boy, Lhasa died again. And, you know, the usual stuff. So <laughs> let's see what this episode brings. Oh my god, yeah. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Um, and I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's start. Okay, so here's a countdown. Three, two, one, go. Negative. Whoa. No, you're good. No one will come. <laughs> okay. With who? Who's this? Um. Wait. So we're going to start with this today. Okay. Final episode. What? <laughs> Whoa. Tamami. What? <laughs> Wait, what? The end. Oh my god, it ended. Oh, season two or something? Oh my god, season two. Wait, there's Rin! <laughs> oh, Kain is here as well. Where's Zuvia? What? Whoa, is that Shiro behind them? New series. Oh my god, here we go. Season 2. <laughs> what? Hardcore. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. All right. <laughs> what the hell? Fly is flying around. Okay, let's see what this episode is about. Um, I don't remember at all. Let's see if I actually remember when. Whoa. 
Oh, great. The whole... Sh oh my god, I hate Shinji. Like... <laughs> Boy, what? Oh yeah, they gave a little preview in the previous episode. 256... Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. Wow, even in Carnival Phantasm, Shinji is unlikable. <laughs> what? <laughs> Medus are rating it like that. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> but I'm not. Ugh. Um, what? Wait, what was that? Two feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Um, Sakura Girl of Destiny. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's different where I come from. Yeah, it is just, what? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Inside the house. Well, she's a writer, so she can obviously, yeah. Um, you were not given the servant. That's Sakura's servant. <clears throat> Wait, what? The oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Lancer is dead. Ah, <sighs> well. No. No. Um. Um. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Ah. Uh.
Oh, what's media doing here? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, it's a rule breaker. Oh yeah, she can use that too. Break out of Oh my god, here we go. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, great. Well, now rider is <laughs> um, what is happening in this episode? <laughs> Addition to the <laughs> Wow, oh my god. The amount of Oh <laughs> Monster because of society. <laughs> I don't think so. Hmm, well, that was something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sharing tables again? Okay, let's see what who it's today. Oh, this Oh my god. I feel like... Wait. Wait, what happened? Whoa. What? Wait, who was that? <laughs> okay, oh my god. Uh, well, Shinji will always be unlikable. Like, what else can you even do? And... <clears throat> I feel like the only Shinji who was kind of likable was um, at least from what I have seen and read um, from Hollow Ataraxia. Like the Hollow Ataraxia in itself was like a very slice of life ish thing, like you know, like. But I feel like that was the. I don't remember much about Hollow Ataraxia, but I feel like Shinji there was a lot more tamer and a lot more nicer and now i have no idea i've heard that in fate extra shinji is also nice i'm not sure about that because i've not played play fate extra and i have no idea about it fate extra fate extra cc's you know so i have no idea about that so yeah the only thing that i have played and i felt shinji a lot more tolerable was hollow ataraxia Otherwise, nah, Shinji is like in each and every most of the you know fate spin-offs or the fate stories, he's unlikable and everything. Like even in uh what, what was that? Even um Prisma Ilya. <laughs> Budget problems. Wait, what? <laughs> wow okay well obviously budget problem so what else can you do okay so yeah as i was saying um even in uh, even in prisma ilia like shinji is oh my god like 
probably one of the most hated characters not only in fate i think in all, all entirety of anime shinji is probably one of the most hated character and uh, yeah like one of the most hateable character like okay anyways um so yeah this episode was fully about um sakura and uh shinji shinji's you know like tyranny or whatever you call it <laughs> you know um <laughs> the way they uh, like i feel like the way they actually showed this episode was in a way like you know like funny light-hearted and at the same time it was very uncomfortable as well like you know like like it was like a weird like i don't know what i did i really wasn't uh, like expecting like I, as i said i forgot most of the things about carnival phantasm like this episode, I, I I really was actually confused whether to laugh, whether to feel bad or whether to feel angry. Like, what should I feel? Like, like Shinji, like, obviously, like, Shinji is annoying. And, like, you know, like, as, as soon as we, like, you know, kind of see, like, Shinji's again trying to hit Sakura and everything, like, you know, whenever he, you know, raises his hand and like, that's, that's really, like, you know, that's, that's the part that's supposed to make us angry. But at the same time, like, you know, in, in the next scene or whatever, we see him like an idiot, like, you know, playing like games, laughing at like, you know, like some probably some online game, uh, like, you know, I'm happy about the fact that, yeah, he like, you know, tricked someone or something and like, you know, like, like a complete idiot making a fool out of himself, all that stuff. And then the next scene, like, you know, we see him getting hit by a rider, all that stuff. And then again, in the next scene, we see him trying to hit Sakura, like, at one scene kind of getting angry another scene we feel like oh my god this guy is stupid another scene we feel kind of bad for him and then another scene we kind of feel like you know like um <laughs> like you know like uh, what can i say like kind of feel like yeah this guy is a complete idiot and yeah like that was this episode completely and it, it really made me confused as to what to feel like in obviously in in the normal fate franchise uh, normal fate series Shinji is all throughout intolerable, like, you know, annoying and unlikable. But because this is carnival phantasm, um, you know, they, they, like, you know, they have to include the comedy sections. And, you know, the whole comedy section, like, you know, bits of Sakura saying that, oh, like, I, like, you know, the problem is actually with me because I'm so beautiful and so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm such a tragic heroine. Like, her actually kind of saying that, you know through her own mouth and you know shinji also kind of like you know like like <laughs> i don't know what the hell that was like you know like wh where is that scene um okay yeah um <laughs> when rider comes in and gives sakura the um rule breaker <laughs> shinji is like the unstoppable urges of youth and Sakura stabs him. Oh my god! Like, oh, like th that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like the scene itself was so uncomfortable. But with the comedy scenes in it, I was really confused as to what to feel. Like, what am I supposed to feel here? Am I supposed to feel angry? Am I supposed to feel bad or what? Like, or fun? Like, am I supposed to laugh at that? Like, you know, the comedy that's going on. Like, <laughs> yeah. So that was. I have to say that was a really uncomfortable episode. This episode was a really uncomfortable episode. And uh, yeah, like, I don't know what, what else to say. <laughs> oh my God. Like, uh, like, and the <laughs> Sakura's whole, like, you know, like thing of it is like, in the end, she says that Nissan became such a monster because of society, uh, society and because of me. <laughs> Because I'm a beautiful, ill-fated girl. Like, you know, her actually saying that through her own mouth that, yeah, I'm such a tragic heroine, you know? Like, <laughs> like, wow, okay. Uh, this, this episode was kind of um, uncomfortable, I have to say. <laughs> In my opinion. But the, the, but the parts where Shinji was getting beaten, beaten up were kind of funny, you know? Like, when... Um, Ryder hits Shinji using the laundry pole, then the cycle, and then, you know, using her noble phantasm, all that stuff. Yeah, that was fun.
and all the other different ways she was you know using it to <laughs> stop shinji so yeah those those were funny <laughs> and the whole thing with rule breaker was also kind of now wait a minute like i i, I know this is like obviously like a spin off so um as far as i know like you know as far as i remember yeah obviously like sakura was is rider's uh, masters and as far as i remember in like in all the roots sakura gave shinji a uh, temporary uh, master privilege you know using a, a, i think a fake a grimoire or something like that i don't know like there was like a book with him as far as i can remember and you know like shinji was acting as a uh, rider's master all throughout um obviously in i don't remember the fate route at all i don't actually remember what happened to rider there but i remember unlimited blade works unlimited blade works rider dies you know in 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 school in the school i think yeah that's what happened like rider dies very early but in heaven's field she still is alive uh, even at the end and um like a little like you know few changes happens there because shiro tries to like you know go like you know f- like does not go through the uh, uh what do you call it the hero of justice route but she he actually fights for sakura in that route in heaven's field and <clears throat> that's like you know in, in that route that's why rider was able to live for quite a long while and as far as i can remember in that route sakura herself retracted the uh, i think retracted the contract of rider with shinji and uh yeah i think i remember that and asked rider to help her or something and I, I i don't properly remember what happened there are like you know the three roots kind of confuse me like you know this three roots kind of happened in different ways so it's kind of I, I kind of get mixed up with it so yeah as far as i can remember like she actually stopped the whole thing and broke the contract of shinji and uh rider's contract and they like, you know, took back took back her servant so <clears throat> So why was in this episode the rule breaker after being used on Shinji did he like like I know as I said like, I know this is like a spin off I probably that's why like they did something like that but like wasn't like you know like I I guess the rule breaker could also work on Shinji because in a way he was temporarily contracted with Medusa so yeah I guess it it would work wouldn't it like if rule breaker was actually used on Shinji most probably the contract between medusa and shinji would be nullified and medusa would go back to sakura maybe something like that would happen even though shinji is not the actual master of medusa obviously she he did have a temporary contract with her so i guess that would get nullified or something maybe that's what happened like yeah like maybe that's why rule breaker actually worked <laughs> but anyways yeah um yeah so that was it and um <laughs> the the little section in the end as well like you know like uh, like archer and the other girl i don't remember her name uh they kind of like you know complaining about their masters <laughs> and and I, and then i think like someone gets i think was that berserker someone was growling I don't know like maybe that was berserker like there's like a growling sound and then in the next scene we see everything's broken <laughs> the carrot is completely pulverized the the cups are destroyed my god so yeah <laughs> okay yeah that was this episode my god ah uh, I, I i was really confused as to as to what to feel but yeah uh, it was kind of funny to see shinji you know getting whatever he deserved so yeah so that was it that was my um reaction to carnival phantasm uh, episode number six i think this is six isn't it yeah episode number six so just a sec uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah like we're all like halfway through i think another six more episodes after uh, i finish carnival phantasm i do plan on checking out a few other of the um i think there are a few other spin-offs of which are also kind of related to carnival phantasm and some other spin-offs as well those i have actually not seen this is i'm re-watching this 
but those i have not seen at all so those will be like completely my new reactions to them so after the carnival phantasm ends i'll probably start with a few one or two spin-offs that are that will be still left I, I, as far as i can remember there are a few of them i think there's one of them which is called Ilya's castle or something and there's a few others as well those i've not seen uh, so uh, yeah i'll check those out as well but after carnival phantasm ends so yeah anyway so so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of uh, fate carnival phantasm so until then goodbye and have a nice day